Obey my commands at all times. Any questions? All right, shake hands. Good luck to both of you. All right, we're set to go. The young bull and Mike Tyson. There he is, Larry Holmes and White, and Mike bang for the body. Now Mike up at his toes, tries to get the footwork going. Trying to pick up the pace. Caught Larry with a pretty good left hook. That's the best punch landed so far. Because if Larry continues to fight like this, he can't survive long. The things that made him great are not there. The foot speed or the hand speed. Another crushing blow to the body of Larry Holmes. Closing seconds of the first round. As the bell, ending round one. He's not executing tonight. He's standing flat-footed. He's an easy target for Mike to hit. In the old days, Larry would have had that left jab just punching and punching and punching and setting up the right hand. And he'd have been moving up on his toes. Larry got a sneaky right hand through there, but it didn't hurt Mike. Fortunately for Larry in his career, he's never been hurt. And I hope he doesn't get hurt tonight. But right now, with the inability of Larry Holmes to land the jab or even use it much, Mike comes right through. That's one of the best combinations that Larry's thrown, and it doesn't shift Mike at all. It doesn't even back him off. I love Larry Holmes as a fighter. Make no mistake about it. I actually hate to see him fighting Mike Tyson. I understand why, though. This is a business. He ties him up inside so Mike can't punish the body. There's a digging body shot, a bit on the low side. About 10 seconds ago, this is the third round. And there's the bell ending the round. The right hand gets through, and a light left just at the bell. Watch for the right hand. Boom! See that spin the head? Now watch the bell. You'll see a left hook. Oh, right there on the ear. All right, here we go. Round four. Bob Sheridan here at the Atlantic City Convention Center. You're watching Larry Holmes. Oh, look at this. Larry up on his toes using the jab. Swinging that left hand in front of him. Shades of Holmes of old. But watch out, Larry, for that right hand. Mike is extremely quick. Oh, wouldn't it be great if Larry could keep this up for a few rounds? And now here he is back to the... Oh, left hook got Larry that time. Right now, getting through this fourth round is the biggest problem. Oh, right hand. Down goes Larry Holmes. For one of the few times in his career... Boy, oh boy, look at that. He was knocked down by Ernie Shavers, Mike Weaver. Ronaldo Snipes had him out with a heavier shot than that. But right now, Mike Tyson is in charge. He's the boss, and Larry's down for the second time. There's no free knockdown rule, but Larry's in a heap of trouble here. His legs aren't there. He'll take the standing eight count. It's almost academic now. Mike smells the blood. He senses the kill. He comes in for it. Larry trying to hold him off. There's too much time left in the fourth round. The end of a great career is imminent. Larry Holmes' legs are jelly. There's lightning in the fist. Big right hand followed up by the left foot. Lightning in the fist of Tyson. I hope Joe Cortez takes a look into the eyes. Larry gets nailed with the left hand, the right hand. Digs to the body, goes to draw right hand, gets clipped with a big right hand. He won't get up from this one. It's all over. Joe Cortez has seen enough, and Larry Holmes is knocked out. He doesn't count him out, but he's out. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the official time. The end comes at 2 minutes 55 seconds of the fourth round. The winner, and still the undisputed, undefeated heavyweight champion of the world. Iron Mike Tyson!